Now Canva has finally added a new feature which allows us to create tables in Canva. Now previously before you had to either create a table using the lines or use another software. But now this new feature is going to save us so much time. Now for this video I'm going to show you how this table feature is useful for creating a monthly planner and you can even do this if you have a free account on Canva. So before we create the monthly planner you need to decide what kind of book size that you're going with. In this instance I'm going to go with 6 by 9 with bleed so that will become 6.125 by 9.25. And why I'm going with bleed is because it allows any image or illustration to reach the edge of the page. But if it's something that you are unsure about, then you can definitely check out this useful page on Amazon just by typing in on Google set trim size bleed and margins. And it'll provide you with all the information that you need to understand this better. And there is a little table here as well so that you know what measurements to use without bleed and with bleed. So now let's go to Canva and we click create a design. Let's type in our measurements, make sure we put in the inches first. So then we can put 6.125 by 9.25 and then click create new design. Now to access the tables feature, we need to go to elements. Then if we scroll down, we can see under charts that we've got tables there. And if you click see all, you can see all the types of options that you have. So you will see that there are three different types of tables. And the first table basically is just lines, whereas the second table has the first row field. And the final table has all the column and rows field, but there are no lines. So you've got three different options there, but for the monthly planner, we're going to be using this table here. Now to mention a few things that you can do to the table, let's say you want to fill in another column. All you need to do is click on the particular column that you want to change, or if there's more than one, then you just click on it once and then again, and then you just drag it over the other columns that you'd like to fill in with another color. So let's just go with these three for now. Then you can just click color in the far left hand corner and you can change it to any other color that you would like. And if you don't want to fill it with any color, then you can just click this one here. Now you've also got the option to change the line weighting. So if you wanted to change the border weight of the lines, then you can choose this second option here and you've got the outside, you've got the inside, you've got uh, any particular line you want to choose. You can also change the color. Um, and then let's say you wanted to do the outside, then you wanted to keep it black and you wanted to change the border weight so it becomes much heavier. And then you can just see there how it changes. And finally, if you want to increase the table spacing, if it stays on zero, then you won't see any space between any of the rows or columns, but the more we move it to the right and increase it, you can see how they get further away from each other. And then cell spacing, you can just increase or decrease the size. It's really down to you. So let's align this table in the middle. And once it's in the middle, you'll see this kind of purple line showing you and telling you that you've aligned it in the center and we'll kind of move it towards the, the top also. And you'll again see a purple rectangle. And just make sure that you keep any of your text inside the purple rectangle. So what we'll do is we'll increase the size of this, but I won't go outside the purple rectangle. And don't worry about anything being uneven as we can sort that out afterwards. But as it's a monthly planner, I plan to have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on one page, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday on the other. So if I click on these three dots, I can add a column before or after as I need four days. So I'm just going to add a column after. Then I'm also going to add a few more rows as I need a few more days of the month. And five rows should do nicely. Then to increase the size of the table, I'm just going to move this bottom row down all the way to the bottom, which will make the cells uneven. However, what you can do is just simply click on any cell once and then press it again and then you can highlight over 
all of the cells that you need. Right click in the middle, you'll see a few options come up and then it says size rows equally. Now that looks a lot better. And what I'm now going to do is just duplicate the page so I can put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the first page and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday and notes on the second page. So if you want to type in notes in any of the cells, all you need to do is just double click and then you have the options to type in. So I'm just quickly going to fill in the days of the week. Then what I'm quickly going to do is put in the weekdays. And once that's done, you'll see that all the numbers are in the center. So to quickly move them into the far left, all we need to do is once again, click on a cell then click it again and drag over all the other ones. It may take a little bit of time to get used to. And once you've highlighted all the cells that need to be aligned properly, you'll need to go to spacing, which is to the left of animate. And then you'll see some options at the bottom where it says vertical alignment. And we need to click on the one that's on the far left and that will move all the numbers to the top of the cells. And then we just need to select left alignment just by going to this option here. And then you might have to click it a few times up until it goes to the left. Then we need to make sure we do the same thing for the other table also. And now we can try to add a few more things just to make the planner look a little bit better. So let's add some text at the top. So let's just select the text option and we'll go to add a heading. I'll just click on one of these cells quickly just to make sure I've got the right font. So we're looking for open sans light. Then I'm just going to quickly type in a month. So we'll go January and I'll make that bold so that it stands out. But I'll also decrease the font a little bit and I'm making sure that the text is within the purple rectangle. Then I'll add a few elements, maybe some flowers, and I'll arrange it to the far left. Then I'll just copy and paste that and then put another one to the far right. Then finally, I'm just going to put two lines at the bottom. So if anybody wants to maybe do some extra notes, they can. I'm just going to make sure that the, the weight of the line matches the table. So line weight is this option here. Then I'm just going to decrease that from five till two and then just align it with the rest of the table. Then I will copy and paste that line and add it just underneath. And after this, I'll just copy and paste both of these to the second page. Now, after this has been completed, it's just a case of duplicating this for the rest of the month. Once you've got the template, but you would need to change the month and the dates as well. So to duplicate this, all you need to do is just click on the two in the right hand bottom corner and then it will show you the pages you've already done. Then you just need to highlight over both pages and right click. Then you can see you can duplicate as many times as you need. Then click the number in the right hand bottom corner and this will bring you back to all the pages. Then just go in and make all the changes that are needed. And finally, to complete, you just click download in the right hand corner. Make sure that it's a PDF print. Make sure all the pages are selected and then just click download. So I hope this video has helped a lot. You can also use tables to create undated planners, calendars, logbooks. There's so much potential with this. But if you do have any questions, then just let me know in the comments.